That's right, so much action coming up. The Powerball Rumble, I'm sure they're going to talk about it, but just there in case, is. the Powerball Rumble, the winner of this match, gets the Powerball, which allows them to make any request of management that cannot be denied. So many possibilities, and so much talent crammed into this match. A full year to make whatever dream you want to come true. Yeah, anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Title yeah. shot. Uh, for the high tension, Electric Season City Powerball Rumble! Some type of commissioner position, right? Anything. Brad yeah. DeMille. Promotion. <laughs> Brad DeMille wanted chocolate milk. And both feet are touching the floor. Referee Matt Durland almost dropped the Powerball. <laughs> I, th I think the match would be canceled if that happened. I mean, what else could you do? be over. Under, under traditional Royal Rumble rules here, right? Over the top rope, elimination? Yes, both feet must hit the floor. The big difference is it is not every competitor for themselves. Tyrant yeah, yeah. can win this matchup as a team. I mean, I think here, Kit's just waiting for the next. Just get some more bodies in there so he's not the sole focus. Yeah, Kit Tyrant. play keep away for the next 60 seconds. Guys, I'm afraid to say anything. I mean, these guys are, I'm afraid of what's going to happen with Kit Rath. I'm legitimately concerned for his safety here. Warwolf Creed, the, the smile on his face is, is just off-putting here. Kit doing what he can, using some agility to get away from these guys, but he's caught in the corner. Been cornered. Mikowski, what would you have done in this situation? And then probably exactly what he was doing, but there's only so much you can do two on one. No one else in the ring. I mean, you maybe go to the outside underneath the, underneath the bottom rope, honestly. Basically, I'm mauling at this point. Oh, wait a second. It's the Candyman. It's delightful Dan, the goddamn Candyman. Candyman Dan is out. Candyman Dan. Can't, can't help but notice Candyman not in any rush to get into the ring <laughs> Just right Just gonna now. say, and Candyman Dan taking, taking his time. 
get into the ring while Kent's still getting like choked on the ropes right now. He's usually more concerned with uh, with passing out candy to the crowd. Let's be honest. I mean, he's he's basically an oversized man child. He just loves candy. He loves sharing it. I don't think that's going to go over well with anyone else in that ring right now. But let, let's let's give him a little moment. He is a little bummed that Gertrude Hawks is closed. He was expecting to get some smidgens, but uh, hopefully he doesn't get murdered immediately. I don't know. He didn't throw us into candy either. I just want to put that. Tyron hasn't even noticed him yet. Oh, he's oh, trying to make go. friends. Oh, God. Candy. Kid Raph getting his facial features reconstructed over there. He's, see, he's trying to share some candy. There's a, there's a, there's a, a universal language of, uh, nope. They don't speak it, folks. Viking, Vikings don't like candy. He wants to try it again. He's going to try some more. Oh. Picks him in a couple candy, some Laffy Taffy off the foreheads. Oh, he's going for a joke He's going for the joke He's losing him. him. He's no. Losing him. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. And oh, there it goes. Candyman Dan sent all the way to the floor. But Al De Niro coming out now. Entry number four. Wait, oh. that was right after Kit. Poor Kit Rath. I mean, come on. Al's in there. Looks like clothesline. Tyrant just nice watching. Back elbow. I don't think he needs to give Tyrant a break. Oh, wait there a minute. We go. We're oh. split now. Now both Raph and El Dinero have a little bit of a chance here, breaking up Tyrant. So they're not focusing their uh, their 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 attack on one person. Tyrant's clearly the largest opponent in there, the biggest obstacle. They need to divide and conquer to Alan Kitt. The plan's not going great right now. No, certainly not. Before we get too deep into it, I want to thank uh, I want to thank Stay Doomed Podcast for sponsoring this ridiculous rumble. Check out at Stay Doomed on Twitter. These guys, it's Noah and Laura excavating the TV graveyard to decide if forgotten short-running TV shows are worth resurrecting. Make sure to check out them. Yeah, they have a fantastic episode of Wrestling Society X. Entered five coming up next. Al De Niro oh, the ropes. The power, look at the power. Jace making his way. Oh, wait a minute. I, my, my notes are we, there was a rearranging of the uh, of the order here. But we'll call for for how we see it. Another young man just got in there. Now I feel bad. I didn't get his name back there. What a jerk I am. He just, he's, he's smart. He's clearly smart. Yeah. He's watching the carnage. Right. Smartest this man in the ideal there. rumble strategy. You just stay away from the chaos. As he saw it coming at him. He changed corners. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to get in there right now. Oh, now going after Al De Niro. Found and, someone to fire away on. Al De Niro, in, in the business for under a year, sees this as an opportunity to maybe go for some gold here at, at uh, High Tension Wrestling. Swings wildly. Al De Niro will be able to counter. That leaves Kid all alone with Tyrant. Once again, Tyrant could break up their forces and go elsewhere, but they, I think they're having fun beating up on Kid. And here we go, Roberto Garcia, the Shining Mantis, making his high tension wrestling debut. Here. Coming oh, in. Nice little, that's Beautiful scissors. head scissors. Oh, hold on a second, in the corner. Oh! Monkey flip. Gotta get him over the ropes though. A lot of impact here, but no one really going for the elimination here. Yeah, yeah. Going for it again. Oh, uh, not a second. Uh-oh. This is so Al, Al's on the right track here. Roberto Garcia relatively uh, uh, young in his wrestling career, but shaking up things. Oh! Oh! oh big form from De Niro. That forearm is going to shake up some vertebrae in his, uh, in his neck. Garcia might be out here. That could have been a knockout blow. Has to work him over the top now. I just want to point out that, that Tyrant could have gotten rid of Rick, uh, Kid Raph many times. I think they're just enjoying it. Oh, wait a minute. Raph, fire him back yeah, up now. You say that. Kid taking it to Tyrant. Tyrant's going to do what they want in there. I'm not going to get in there and explain the rules to them. No, certainly not. And the ring continues to fill up with competitors. 
Who's next? Oh, boy. Oh, it's time for another team. Team advantage here, the Diamond City War Machines, Eric Pinhead and Brad DeMeo, hometown heroes. This crowd is so excited, you think it was Pretzel Day. This this home this uh, team advantage is a game changer. Oh, and now I, well, this is this. this is the matchup I never knew I wanted to see. Here we go, Tyrant versus Diamond City War Machine. The fists are flying furiously. Both teams just unloading on each other. Here he goes, right to the point here, going for the elimination. Pinhead trying to throw out Grey Wolf late, Raventhorn. And now DeMeo changing uh, to his tune and going after Garcia. He's got to help his partner. Tyler with the advantage currently. Just Ty throwing leather is Tyrant. Yeah, Tyrant, Tyrant back on the, on the rampage with the two on one advantage. Competitors in that ring need to realize they need to get Tyrant out now if they want any chance of winning this Powerball Rumble. Absolutely. Diamond City War Machines have faced quite a few uh, larger competitors, but perhaps none as vicious as Tyrant. Oh, we're, oh. we're joined by some royalty. It is King Crab. Oh, in. Coming in hot. Oh, he's going for the claws. He's going for the claws. He's going to stay away from those claws. Those are painful. Oh, the oh. claws in. The claws in. Oh! Double trapezius claw! They'll just rip your trapezius right out of you. It's over the there top row! Big elimination for King Crab. Roberto Garcia is out. Oh, wait a minute! King Crab able to reverse it. Beautiful oh, spine wow. buster. Oh, Pinhead almost eliminated by Tyron over there. Kid Rap and Brad DeMeo going at it. And King Crab looking to get... Oh, wait a minute! Two eliminations. That's two eliminations. Crab. Get to the point. You gotta get in there. You gotta throw people out of the ring. That's the name of the game. There's a reason he's the king. Kid Rap finally getting a breather over there in the corner. Take away, you can get it, my man. Al De Niro still trying to catch his breath. Gray will fire it away. Oh boy, it's Uncle Masty. The Mastodon is here, folks. Wait a minute, was that an elimination? Was that over the top? Who do we see? Who just went out? I think we just... Oh! oh! Brad DeMeo just sent Werewolf Creed to the outside. And I think I think Eric Pinhead was uh, was eliminated by Grey Wolf Raventhorn as well. That's so tired. Split in half here. Wait. Grey Wolf oh! over the top. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Took his eyes off his competitor. DeMeo didn't know it. Came back over. Gray Wolf fighting on the apron. Very dangerous position. Whoa. Misses with that wild lariat. Does Mastodon. Wait. DeMeo to the outside. Oh. There's just so much going on. It's hard to keep up with all the action it's here. Chaos. It's chaos. But oh. Mastodon is good. Eliminates both competitors. Gray Wolf, Raventhorn, and Brad DeMeo are fighting on the outside. Mastodon taking advantage of the situation. A goodbye team Our advantage. Team, they were going to be two of the hardest people to eliminate. And Mastodon does it one shot. Oh! ECW original, former Ring of Honor tag team champion, part of the Carnage crew. I used to watch this guy throw off ravers, throw raver kids off of the top of cages back in Elizabeth, New Jersey. <laughs> And things are about to get extreme. Rushing in on King Crab, rushing in on Al. Just a house of fire here. Hitting everything that moves. Going after the biggest guy in the match. Oh, God. From Tater City, throwing another one of those potatoes after uh, H.C. Logue Mastodon, sizing him up. But now, got him caught in the corner. Oh, man. HC, beautiful chop. Kid Raff in the corner getting uh, some words of wisdom from Coach Raff. Yeah, getting a, an odd number here. Kid's the be beneficiary of that. Crab and Al battling in the corner. 
And Mastodon bringing one of those chops to his hands the size of frying pans, coming crashing out of the sternum of HC Luke. King Krabs got out of up, out fighting out of it. They're coming in quick. Here comes our next competitor. Oh, wait a minute. Philly, Mike Swanson with a little toy. It's Mike Swanson and he's got a kendo stick. I mean, there are no disqualifications in this match. Oh. There's nothing stopping him. Nobody told him not to. Oh, Bukowski, oh, what would you do? What would you do at this point? I, I, <laughs> when someone brings got, a weapon. He's got, I, I'm trying to get him from behind or avoid. Oh, no. Yeah, trying he's, to get behind him, knock the, knock the stick out of his hands. Mastodon and HC Luke spilling to the outside like a big old fan of Kevin's famous chili recipe. Philly might lose in the kendo stick. That might have been a mistake. Was that an elimination for Mastodon and Luke? I believe so. I they were fighting they on the apron. Unbelievable. Mastodon took advantage of that same situation, but then didn't uh, defend against it before. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh no! Eve suckered him in! Oh. His emotions got the best of him. He didn't have to do that. Mastodon holding the grudge here. Billy Mike Swanson was at the sanctuary last night. Something tells you that he had some words behind the scenes with Mastodon, and now Masty is getting a little bit of revenge. The fighting towards the Verizon store. Oh, boy. Folks, we got Aaron Roxas, CEO of the Crossfire Compound, coming out of the ring, and Scranton Native as well. We're spilling out all over the place here. Kid still standing strong with that number one entry. Oh! I think Philly might... It's that, hard to see from our position. <laughs> I, I think Mastodon just put Mike Swanson through a tape. What the... <laughs> what is going on here in this Powerball Rumble? Anything and everything. When this much is on the line, when you get a wish, basically, that you can cash in at any point. That's right, people are willing to pull out all the stops. Aaron Rocks is with the basement drop kick on King Crab and now putting the cross hairs on Al De Niro. Mastodon refusing to, to stop fighting, refusing to stay doomed, if I will. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. We got carnage all over the building. The King Crab still in there. Mastodon and HG Loke battling to the back. At least they're no longer out here. Kid Rav about to be sent to the outside by King Crab. Al De Niro in trouble thanks to Aaron Roxas. And who's coming out next? Who's it gonna be? And Seymour! Seymour coming out here. Looking to make his mark, get his oh, wish. After Kid, who's on the apron there? He's all his feet are dangling. The refs are saying no, his feet did not touch. Seymour with a boot to the midsection of King Crab. And Seymour, we've seen him a lot at the sanctuary as well. And now he's going right after Kid Raff, who he definitely has some history with. The two of them have tangled before, as well as Aaron Roxas. A lot of history in these in this match. We're going to see a lot of interesting matchups here with some people who have some bad blood. I mean, these matches are so dangerous. There's so many people in the ring. So many angles you got to watch out for. How do you watch your back in a match like this? Man? It's really hard. I mean, you, you, you got you to stay near the corners. I mean, I, I'm very impressed with Kit here. He seems very fresh for, for the amount of damage he's taken at this point. He's definitely been picking his spots. He knows when to rest, and he knows when to go in for the kill. And that's how you survive a match like this. And Seymour to the outside, but he only went over only the middle row. second there, yeah. Here we go, another competitor being added to the fray. Jay Farah out now, back after a six month absence, thanks for a, to a rotator cuff surgery, and he's looking to make a name for himself once again after being out of the game. Well, it's great to see Jay coming back from that injury. Hopefully he can make an impact here at the Power Ball Rumble. So he has world traveled, he's been in the UK, WFW Germany, over in Belgium a world-traveled athlete right here in Scranton, Pennsylvania, folks. And now he's here at High Tension Wrestling. Oh! Ooh, yeah. He eats a knee in the corner there. That's the Nasher knee strike on Kid Raph. Kid Raph just can't get a break here. That's what happens when you draw number one. 
Rocks is going after everybody. That's the problem with when you knock someone out on the mat. You got to pick them back up to throw them over the top rope. That's right, and the smart competitors will will uh, basically become a noodle, if you will, and make it hard for the competitor to lift them up, make them uh, uh, exert more energy. Definitely a different dynamic with the with the rumble there, like you said. Instead of Seymour going, up and over. Seymour eliminated. Seymour eliminated. But yeah, instead of going down to your opponent, going for uh, the kick, you got to lift them up. It's drama club time. Here comes CC Boost. It's oh. about to get violent. Al De Niro finding himself in an inopportune position right here. Oh, oh no! Splash from Boost. This oh, man is a maniac. Jeez. The things this man can do in a sweater oh. are unbelievable. King Crab right after CC Boost. Up and over, however, in the corner. Here comes Crab. Float oh, over. over. Oh, Electric City Destroyer, that's what I'm calling it. Oh, oh, no. He has troubles. You can't turn your back for a moment. Nasher knee strike to the back of the head on CC Boost. Aaron Rox is taking aim at anybody you can in this match. Rox, is, I think, has been doing a fantastic job of seizing opportunity. He waits until no one's looking at him, and then he flies in and does damage. Takes Al, throws him over, and oh, Al's to the mat. CC Boost eliminates Al De Niro. Who do we got next? Oh, uh, we're back to the goons. Uh, I was hoping Big Dust was going to be the next one to come in. No, I'm. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, oh my God. God. Max Zero flying in. Max Zero with the boot. I mean, Dust Miles okay? <laughs> I don't think so. Big Duff said that Miles Wanham was going to win this. Can't do it on the ground. But Max Zero has unfinished business with CC Boost. He said if he won this match, he wanted a death match with CC Boost. Well, it looks like he may have it right here. Wait a minute. Oh, oh it's eliminated. Sacrificing himself just to get the shot that he wanted in. Max Zero and CC Boost eliminated. The field continues to thin out. I'm not even sure Max cares. These, those two definitely have a history. I think Max just looks oh, like oh, pain. Into the pillar! Oh, it's CC Boost. He's gonna tear this building down! Taking him over to Andy Ann's pretzel booth over there. Boost! Max Hero, boost! We're heading out of here! Action on the outside, action inside. We got more competitors coming down. It's absolute chaos here. It's a Powerball Rumble. It's got to be when there's so much on the line. And this is it. This is my pick. I ran the simulations. I ran the numbers. Troubles and Defarge came out on top in every Sony PlayStation simulation I've run. It's a good pick, Scott Holiday. And especially with the team uh, advantage that they have, they're even taking their time coming in. They're clearly confident in their spot here. Oh, whoa, 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 Aaron Rocks is set up. Oh, rebound Lariat from Defarge. And yeah, that team advantage is back on as Crumbles in Defarge. Send Rocks it over the top left to the floor. And that's one elimination for Crumbles in Defarge. Aaron Rocks is being sent back to the Crossfire comp compound. And that Jay Vera. Firing off on both members of the team of Crumbles and the Farge. Well, wait a minute. Oh, big back elbow. Finds a mark on the chin. Oh! Great teamwork from Sonny the Farge and Mr. Crumbles. Hold that top rope down very, very smart. The crowd coming alive here. Is we're back down to four competitors in the ring, but really three entries. And Kick sustaining another double team. This guy can't catch a break. It's coming out next. Oh boy, the leader oh. of the creamy world order. Oh it's shake weight time. Stan Styles. Stan Styles hitting, banding on shots of whipped cream to the crowd. The Intergender Bonanza Champion. Make sure to check out uh, Intergender Bonanza 13, the Bash of the Bonanza, the HO combo coming up on IWTV, folks. Wait, DeFarge. 
Kids hooked up on those ropes. It's a dangerous situation. Crumble's working over King Crab. Styles into the ring now. Styles taking his time. He's got two cans. Two cans. Shake Wade Ashton with a mouthful. Oh! oh. Using it as a weapon. No disqualification. Like I said before, nobody said he couldn't. Mikowski, how do you counter a shake weight? <laughs> I mean, that's that's outside my wheelhouse. I don't know. I think that's why he uses it so well. Nobody knows what to do. It's an unorthodox weapon, for sure. Definitely a pro with that shake weight. Incredible physique, thanks to it. Oh, he's choking him now. Choking him with a shake weight. Choking with a shake weight. I think, wait, are we, does that mean we just caught a glimpse of uh, a possible um, uh, Scranton Strangler? Why have identified the Scranton Strangler right here? Here comes another competitor. And the, the resident psychopath Dylan Mesh is on his way down to the ring. It's well dressed, well dressed for this matchup. Do you think it's a disadvantage to wrestle in dress pants, Mikowski? I say yes. Say yes. Very well anything that restricts your mobility, you know. Trained by Delirious, this guy has an unorthodox style. Jeez! Woo! Like dumping people on their heads! Oh. Styles now. Feeling pumped up. A little bit of a confrontation here between Styles and Mesh. Oh, wait a minute, I don't know! Ah! Oh, pants! That's right, he's got oh, pants! Pants! He's got all the pants! He's got three pants! He has three pants! Oh, Relentless with the tarot pants of Stan Styles. Triple pants attack from Stan Styles. Now go for the elimination on Mesh. Somehow, Mesh withstands the pants. Yeah, pa there's something there, pants and Mesh. Work quick. Cream! Oh, oh it's cream time! Can stand the cream though. Oh! Throw him with the cream! Oh! It's oh, 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 the rope! He couldn't withstand the cream! And Mesh is out! It's too high count. I think Mesh might be lactose intolerant. Stan Styles is a legend. But speaking of legends, this Razor guy, Wing. This guy is very fly. It's Razor Wing. One of my personal favorites. Getting in there with King Crab looking angry. Oh, he's got some, uh, some history with King Crab. Woo! He beat King Crab for the Young Lion Cups uh, not too long ago. Oh, springboard! Oh! Beautiful, it's a carry. there. Razor Wing, the current drop kick depression Watch heavyweight champion. Oh! oh my god! Spinning Euro. Defarge also no stranger to Razor Wing. Only two! King Crab says only two! Crab, Crab with the count. King Crab doesn't care. He'd love to see it, even if it's a, even if it's not a real loss. I mean it would be a royal ruler. He's a king. I think he would have to stand. I believe Scranton is part of the kingdom. And King Crab continuing that rivalry with Razor Wing off in the corner while Kid Rap taking a big boot, a uh, big uh, strike to the chin over there. Who's coming out next? Oh, here we go, folks. Sanctuary standout, the thespian, J.S. Hawthorne is here. He's a little, perhaps not, uh, not, he's not trying to make friends here, folks, right? He's just trying to have the best performance that he possibly can here. A beautiful bow. No, I, I think he's out of here. He didn't go in yet, though. Yeah, hey, I Brad. think it's curtains for him. Curtains. <laughs> On Razor Wing in there, kind of getting uh, getting a beating from three different people, kind of getting ganged up on. Mm -hmm. Hawthorne taking his time to get in there. Mm -hmm. And Kid Raff! Strangling Defarge in the corner. Might put, might put him out. That's the strategy I like to employ in a rumble. Put and somebody just, unconscious in, but you, you gotta... You, you need there, the gotta, strength there to put him up yeah, off gotta, the mat. You gotta lift their unconscious body over the top. Yeah, Defarge is no small man. 
perhaps just counting on the uh, the idea of, of keeping him out of the game for a bit so that he can focus his attack elsewhere. And now, oh, he's the star. Star. I think I spoke too soon with Sam Styles. I think we see the Scranton Strangler right here. Yes, just cutting off the airway. And these two are definitely no strangers to each other. Coming to blows many times in Hazleton at the Sanctuary. Oh, he's, getting, he's getting by the nose. He's trying to deform the face of Kit. Attempting to remove the proboscis of Kit Raff. And now we got another competitor on their way down. Well, this is Brian Ace. He used to be a cameraman for us. We got a cameraman entering this. Big debut here for Brian Ace. And Alex Watt not happy about this man being in the ring right now. He'd rather him behind the camera, but the maestro gave him the okay, so he's okay to be in there. Fired up. Brian is, in fact, a very big student of the game. He's watched very closely. Beautiful maneuver. Now, wait a minute. I think we're about to see a very specific dynamic here. Oh, that's, that's his trainer. That's right. Back in July of 2019, DeMarsh tra started training Brian Ace. Told him to get out. Brian Ace calling for his moment. I mean, maybe we'll see. Oh, oh maybe we oh won't see that moment. Kick for his trouble. Holy smokes! It just and Brian easily Ace might be out. Oh, oh my so much goodness. for your moment, kid. No, Brian Ace, not unable to make a huge impact here. Oh, that's the countdown. Excuse me for a moment, guys. Wait, what do you? What do you think you're doing? Oh, that's right. It's Scott Holiday time. What go in there? What? Scott's going in. No, no, Scott. Scott. No, God, no, 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 no. Please. Power no! What's he gonna ask for? A, a, a lazy boy during commentary? He's got. He's got glasses on. What the hell's he gonna do with glasses on in there? He's got Rex Bex. He's working the palm strikes. He's working the E Honda. <laughs> I'm King Crab. King Crab unaffected. Oh, oh slashing oh, across the face. No. Scott Holly, get out of there, man. What are you doing in there? Wait a minute, Razor. Razor setting up something big here. Risotte springs off of Scott. What? What? What did I just see? And drop kicks crap over the rope, but he's eliminated. Scott Holiday, what are you doing, man? Have you lost your damn mind? Because I'll help you find it. Scott, I can't even. Scott going after Defarge, but Defarge is, uh. We were just saying that there, he's there. Oh! He, I guarantee you he thought that was going to turn out differently. <laughs> lit up in the corner now. I'm worried for Scott here. He's gonna get hurt. Yeah. Oh my god! Crumbles. Wipes out the corner there. We got coming up next. That looks like Phil Stamper. What? The, pr the president of professional wrestling, Phil Stamper. He's in his gear though. I gotta, I gotta stand up. He's the president. You gotta respect the man in his position. Having words of Miles Millennium on the outside. He hasn't even been in there since being attacked. Whoa! Phil throwing Miles into the ring. Making just, him legal for the match. He just realized that Miles Millennium was taking a nap on the outside. Now he's finally legal. You're right, Matt Mikowski. And that the president is in! The president goes after Scott. No, no, no! Yeah, you know, Exactly my take. That's right, yes! <laughs> Scott, careful, man! Thank you! Thank you, Mr. President! Thank you! Well, Miles Millennium from behind! No! Miles eliminates the president! God! I'm sorry, Mr. President. I should have been there to help you. I'm sorry. We're going to hear about this in the back. Stan Styles takes out J.S. Hawthorne now with a close Stan Styles still dominating in the Powerball Rumble. Completely thrown off, folks. I'm going to try and be professional and get back into this. Scott slowly lumbering his way back. 
to the commentary table. Scott Holiday, what were you thinking, man? I was, I was very, I was very concerned about your health. I would have won with Philly yelling. Are you? Well, he's the president, you man. You gotta. Phil would have yelled. It was my chance. I wanted to fight the spoiler. Back to it. Back to it. Fine. Miles Millennium about to be thrown out by Kid Rap. Razor Wing in, uh, in danger as well. And here comes the Moonlight Sun, Mike Skyros. Skyros getting in there. Coming in from Skyros. Syracuse, New York. We haven't seen him in the PA area in quite some time. Oh, coming in like a house of fire, putting everybody down. Channeling his inner Jake Lockley. Oh. Razor Wing, oh! Big old clothesline takes him down. Mike Skyros trained at the Brute Squad Dojo. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Razor Wing eliminated. My God! My pants attacks! How does he keep getting these pants? Going for the start. No way! Oh, no, no! Skyros has seen that before. Oh, oh, oh my God! Stand style snow. Jumping into Curry nearly kicked his face off. Oh! Skyros flying in, nothing but impact there, throwing all of his weight behind that elbow. Attempting to inject Chance Hawthorne. Miles Millennium still in it. Crumbles end to Farge. And who do we got now? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Doctor Ethan White. The well-read machine taking his time getting down to the ring here. Oh, wait a minute. Face off here with Razor Wing. Between Ethan Wilde and Razor Wing. These guys do not have any love lost here. But that no contact whatsoever. Both men doing, what, uh, doing the right thing. Ethan Wilde clearly focused on the task at hand. Well, I mean, so much is on the line. You don't want to be distracted by having to do something else before getting in that ring. It'll cost you everything. Now, Dr. Ethan Wilde and the thespian J.S. Hawthorne teeing off at each other. As Miles Millennium and the, and the, the Moonlight Sun, Skyros in trouble here, as is Kit Raff. Yeah, crumbles into Farge trying to eliminate Kit, who's still going strong after that, after being, after entering at number one. Yeah, it's very impressive to stay in there all this time. You gotta respect the conditioning here. Absolutely. Conditioning along with ring awareness and smarts. He knows exactly what he's doing. And you can't discount the influence from Coach Raff on the outside helping him out as well. Some fantastic coaching here. Whoa! Get just trying to rest there in the corner. The body is flung at him. There's no resting in the Powerball Rumble. Kibo coming in. The chain breaker, trained by Alpha Jr. at Battlefield, has overcome his past demons and looking to win that Powerball and get his opportunity here in tight, high tension wrestling. Yeah, Kibo walked oh. in there with nothing but confidence, not a moment's hesitation. Ethan Wilde getting right up into his face. Ethan Wilde, oh! oh. Him head first into the mat. Kilo there, rolling the ring. Gotta throw him out though. Kick to the chest on Miles Millennium, who was trying to take a breather there in the corner. Now having to fight off Kibo. Oh. Complete anarchy here going on in the ring. And Miles Millennium back in there. I saw that very close up. The Miles Millennium got thrown back into the ring. He was never eliminated by Max Zero, so he could still win this whole thing. Here we go, who do we have next? And Price Pure Gold. Trained by H.C. Lope, former Flower City Wrestling champ. The investment is here to make an investment of his own, win that Powerball, maybe go for some gold. Like you said, maybe a, uh, an administrative uh, approach here. Maybe him and, uh, him so and much Farge help. can strike a deal or something. Having words with Kit Raff now. Kibo fighting off J.S. Hawthorne. I mean, it would be wise for Kit to make a friend 
in this thing. Well, that's not how you make a friend. <laughs> no, certainly not. Teeing right off on a quarter of the breed. Upstate Pro Tag Team, uh, Tag Team of the Year. Going for oh. that big lion. Oh, this oh, is boy. Okay, Kid Danger. Danger. This could be it for Kid Ruff and since the beginning. Double team now. He's got to he's got to keep that leg hooked over that top rope. It's still holding on. What is it going to take to get Kid Raff out of here? He's over the top. He's got to roll back in. Yeah, he's got to ha have some urgency here being on the apron like that. Oh, the are starting to tangle. Off the and and on with one hand. Maybe able to get those legs back in. He's got to get that body. He's got to break the plane of that bottom rope so it counts as being back in that ring. Ethan Wilde looks like he's in trouble over there in the corner. He makes his way back into the ring, though. And Miles Millennium just going crazy, Miles stomping just crumbles over there. Stomping mud Try holes of people over there. Trying to knock the highlights out of his hair. Oh, we're coming up. Another competitor enters the fray here. We got bodies everywhere. Crumbles and Fires working together to get out Miles Millennium. Was who was that Adrian Black? Yes, indeed, Adrian yes. Black, you are correct. Adrian Black, another one of uh, HC Lokes boys. The street sweeper. Kibo in trouble now, right out in front of us. Crumbles into Barge by themselves in the corner over there. Just kind of recuperate. I mean, that's what one of the advantages of having a teammate in there. You can watch each other's Absolutely. backs. Absolutely. Kit, Kit's still on the apron. I mean, Kit's been in there for so long. He's running on empty. But Skyros! Oh, oh no! Moonlight Sun hanging on and getting back in there. Agile, like a like a Egyptian cat. And GKM trained to create a pro by Pat Bunk, Sean Dunham, and LSG. Let's see what he's got tonight for high tension wrestling. Oh, in the corner, big finger splash. He's got a lot of energy. Springing back and forth. Normally teaming up with the vicious vegan Leo Sparrow going on his own tonight. Working over Dr. Wild in the corner there. Well, Miles Millennium has something to say. Jawbreaker. Oh, Ace Crusher. See the delay in the air. Doesn't get to celebrate for too long though. Dr. Ethan Wild. Right on him. Working in tandem. Over the top! Oh my time, dangerous position! Barely able to hold on, he's dangling! Oh, oh he's got her with the head scissors! All the way to the floor! Beautiful! TKM scoring the elimination there! Adrian Blackout! Oh, it's Dr. Ethan Wilds out as well! It's two eliminations for GKM! Wait a minute, it's Evelyn now making her way into this match. Evelyn has made her way to the Powerball Rumble. Facing off with Kit. He wants to dance, she's got, a, she's got like this 60s housewife vibe there. Wait a minute. It's the, it's the Stratton Strangler. It's the Stratton Strangler. We've got a lot of suspects here tonight in the Rumble. We're never going to be able to crack this case. Oh, now just going after Kit Raff. Probably a smart move, though, going after the person who's she, she, def higher. she definitely has that uh, that feeling of like a, a 1960s kind of like um, uh, uh, a TV show where the veneer is that like everything's kind of perfect and prim and proper. But behind the scenes, you know, there's just something slightly off about it. And I think that I think that's, that perfectly describes Evelyn. Slightly off kilter is the jaw of Kit Raff. Oh, come on! Kit Raff not giving a damn about hitting a woman. I mean, you can't. 
you, you have to throw everything out of the rule book yeah, here. Match it. That's right, all, all etiquette, you're right, out the window. No! The, the ring continues to fill up. I think we're reaching the highest number in this matchup in terms of competitors. Pretty damn high. Oh, it's boy. Electro Ant! Representing the colony, perhaps formerly, now, presently, in the Powerball Rumble. What do you think something like, uh, someone like Electro Ant is gonna be able to do with the Powerball? Well, the Electro Ant, I would say, oh, the beautiful monkey, monkey flip, flip uh, has the home field advantage here in the Electric City Showdown. Oh, man, beautiful. Oh! Nice Pichinoku driver there, but Defarge makes him pay. Defarge loves stepping on ants. I think it's a, a pastime of his yeah, favorite he's, He has quite the career, and he's got the antenna. That's usually illegal. He knows. He knows that's the weak spot. Oh, now Jazz Hawthorne coming over. Looks like he's experienced with that. Miles Millennium taking a forearm in the corner by uh, by Evelyn. And Kibo getting stopped by GKM and Price Pure Gold. Skyros on the outside there. Looks like he's working his way back in. I think Skyros is just trying to hide. Which, great strategy in a match like this. Now coming out. Boo! Oh boy. It's the spoiler. Boo! The spoiler. Scott Holliday hates the spoiler. And if I had won this match, this is what I want. I wanted to fight the spoiler. The spoiler is the worst human being on this planet. We just went to, a, a little kid went to high five him. And the spoiler pulled his hand away at the last moment. The spoiler uh, doesn't know joy. He's never had smiled in his wait a minute. And I think Hawthorne still is out eliminated. Here. The thespian has been eliminated. Consider that the curtain call. It's lights out for the thespian. This performance has been brought to a close. Back to the action at hand. Looks like Price Pure Gold is, has been eliminated as well. There's so many bodies in there. It's hard to keep track. It's hard to stay in the ring. It's hard to watch all the angles. But currently, the spoiler, we're going over those shoulder tackles. Working Kit. Kit, obviously, Kit's taking the most damage in this match. Yeah, and the spoiler knows that. And the spoiler, like the coward he is, Go goes after the weakest person in the ring. The low-hanging fruit. I, I'm kind of exactly. I'm kind of uh, getting behind your, your stance here, Scott Holliday. I think you might be correct. Thank you. Well, thank you. Here it comes. Oh, it's time for Rob Chase. The Slam Burglar. Since when was Rob Chase here? The Slam Burglar. He snuck in. The Repro Repo Man. I think he, wait a minute. Prince of Conatown was supposed to be in the, uh, in, in, in uh, sorry. Can you please you okay? say? Are you take a breath? Yeah, take I a breath? I just, I think I had part of a. I know, you, I know a criminal just walked in. Thank and you. startled. Watch your wallets. Prince of Conatown is, was supposed to be here tonight, but now. We see, that's, that's petty theft. It was, that spot was stolen by the Slam Burglar. The Slam Burglar stealing things. Oh, oh and, he's, that, and he's barrel rolling through Electro Ant. Electro Ant hates thieves. Not sure if you knew that. It's true. It's a very astute observation there, Scott. Now Skyros on the outside on the apron there taking the boots to Kid Wrath. I don't know what got into him. Electro Ant squashing the spoiler. Ooh. Spinning kick. Oh! Both, and nobody can see. It must be that disguise. They can't see him. Skyro slinking yes. back into the ring now. Wait a minute. Get him over the top. Get him over the top. Drop him on his head. Just let him go. Rob Chase. Oh, Rob Chase almost became my favorite wrestler. Spoiler slithers back into the ring. Miles Millennium over the top rope. Big dust there with the assist. Oh boy! And this wouldn't be a party here at Scranton if we didn't have the Electric City Master of Ceremony, Squid Sterling being flanked by C.R. O'Malley. Squid Sterling bringing the party. The Electric City rock star. I mean, I really, I, I was getting nervous. I, if, if he wasn't in this match, I think there, there would have been some sort of lawsuit against High Tension Network. Squid Sterling, it's, it's not beneath him. Taking his time, taking his coat smart, off. Smart, shouldn't rush in there. Oh, Evelyn to the outside, now on the apron in dangerous position. 
using that apron to, to, to choke TK in. Oh, Evelyn hung up on that top row. Looking faint, she fainted. Oh no! Oh, she's oh, on the floor. She's eliminated. Can someone wave a handkerchief over her face? Maybe help her recover. Oh! Oh! Drum solo! Neil Part, eat your heart out! <laughs> Strangle him on the top row in the middle row! It's the Strand Strangler! We can beat that joke as much as we want but while we watch Squid Sterling beat the, the life out of all his opponents with those drumsticks. And now I think are we, we're getting to the end here, guys. Unbelievable. Oh, oh boy. Oh man. Here comes Devontes. This could, <laughs> both, both, uh, uh, it, I was being figurative, but uh, it might be literal. We may be seeing the end of the rumble here with Devontes. I'm curious what Devontes would want, because I know Devontes likes to go in there and beat a lot of people up. So part of me thinks this is his dream match. This so is if he wins this, he might just do it again. The Haas of Haas. I, I've, I've teamed with this man. I've wrestled this man multiple times. Everyone's in for a world of heart right now. Oh! Pop a power bomb on Squid Sterling! I saw the ring shake! To the outside! Oh! oh one. one for Devontes! Oh man! You can see as soon as Devontes went into that ring, everything kind of oh, slowed down. Did we lose down. the spoiler? Were you out? Are you gone yet? Don't, don't knock my things out. There's the spoiler two. and TKM are also gone. And the, two. And the Slam Burglar out as well, thanks to Devontes. Elimination's coming quick. Kibo saw that Devontes was going for a leapfrog, decided to try and hang him up. Oh! Big clothesline there from Big D. Devontes still able to get out the, uh, whoa, 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 over the top. Kibo out. Another one for Devontes. Oh! Electro Ant electrifying in there. Satellite DDT, but he's right back up. Fireman's carry. Oh, whip, way high. Just oh. tossing him over the top rope to the floor. Like nothing. How many eliminations is that? That's four. Thank you, Matt Mikowski. Uh, I'm not hearing a countdown. I think. We may Skyros. be out of competitors. Oh, belly to belly to Skyros. The Moonlight Sun nearly went through the moon, the and moon roof here. Five eliminations and five oh. wrestlers remaining in this match. Big double team. Whoa! Crumbles in the first, still in there. That's my pick. I'm wondering what's the, what the folks at Stay Doing Podcast are, what, are thinking who the winner's going to be. Oh. Hopefully they didn't think Double that Crumbles were the large. Five and six. Holy smokes! I bet they did. We've got Devontes, Miles, and boys, Kit, Raph, oh! still in this match. Pop up, but Miles Millennium came down with a Superman punch. Cross body, but Devontes catches him. Tossed over the top rope like a sack of potatoes. Miles oh, holds on. Oh, wait, he's wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he down? Is he wait, out? It's hard to see. Pulling a Kofi over there, guys. Something's holding him up. Oh! Huge German suplex, but I think Big Dust is working as a, uh, oh! There goes Devontes! Devontes is out! Kid Evans from number one! Wait a minute! No, 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 no! There goes! Oh, no! <laughs> that is it! Oh, Kid Evans from number one! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my goodness! Kid Evans has it! Entered at number one! Goes all the way to be eliminated by Miles Millennium! Chalk another one up for the Goons. Incredible turn of events. Uh, one of the hometown favorites, Kit Rath. The Goons. Feeling that Powerball in his hands, only to have it stripped away from him. What an incredible win for the Goons, and what an incredible win for Miles Millennium. <laughs> Miles Millennium clutching the I Powerball. What an effort. In that ball comes all the power. Let's find out what he wants to use it for. Samira heading into the uh, the ring, looking to get an interview. We're gonna find out what he wants. 
You want to know what's next? Yes. Well, I'll tell you. You're going to have to find out just like everybody else here. Some other time. Some other time. Some other time. He broke the microphone. We thought we were going to find out their plans, but the goons apparently keeping their plans close to to, uh, to their breast. What is in store for high tension wrestling? It's never good when the goons have some kind of power like that. Never want the goons to have power. I am lightheaded after that, gentlemen. You're lightheaded. Holy smokes. Yeah, you were in there, man. I'm really lightheaded. You were in there, Scott Holiday. Matt Mikowski, I'm sure you wanted to get in there. I am perfectly happy being in my seat right here, calling the action from afar.